Well, on a picture-perfect evening for baseball here at One Oak Field, we're in downtown Tulsa. The Drillers hosting the Springfield Cardinals. Great to have you with us tonight on AM 1430 The Buzz and also those following tonight on MILB TV. Welcome one, welcome all. The Drillers have taken the field. And they're their right-handed starting pitcher, Kyle Hurt, going through his warm-up tosses. Kyle this year, one win, four losses, a 9.10 earned run average. Started the season at single-A Great Lakes, where he was uh, having a fine year for the Loons. He was 4-2 and two with a 2.21 ERA in 13 ball games. 11 as a starter for Great Lakes. But ever since he's arrived here for the Drillers, he has had uh, command issues finding that strike zone. And this year for the Drillers, he's pitched 29 and two-thirds innings, giving up 32 hits, 35 walks, 45 strikeouts. So Hurt gets the start tonight for the Drillers against the Cardinals. And here we go, off we go. Here is Mike Antico to lead off the ball game for the Redbirds. Here comes Hertz's first pitch of the ball game, and he's swinging a high fly ball to shallow right field, drifting in his paws. Going out is the second baseman, Avalino, who makes the catch. Well, our first pitch delivered tonight right on time. It's 7.05. 85 degrees, a 10 mile per hour breeze, and I'm telling you, there is not a cloud in the sky for as far as the eye can see. Sun is setting to the first base side of the ballpark. Boy, you can tell that summer is moving on because the whole field now is in shadows. Here's Mason Wynn, and the first pitch is low and outside, ball one. Mason Wynn is hitting 259, 11 homers, 47 runs driven in. Right-handed batter began the year in A ball. Pitch, and that is down low. Kyle Hurt working tonight with battery mate. KK Rios in his Drillers debut. Young man just called up from Great Lakes. Working behind the plate tonight. And Hurts pitch is inside. Oh, inside first strike. A little bit of a late call there by Guillermo Rodriguez, the home plate umpire. Either that or I jumped the gun. Here comes the uh, next pitch. And that is a fastball that misses perhaps a little bit high. It was over the plate. Three and one the count now to win with Jordan Walker waiting on deck. The Cardinals tonight decked out in their bright red jerseys with the road gray pants, wearing their red baseball caps tonight. Pitch, swing, and a ball lifted, foul down the right field side out of play. The Drillers opting to wear their blue jerseys, home white pants, and they've got the, uh, the alternate cap tonight with the white front panel and the blue cap. And the blue bill, they've got the, uh, the big D for Drillers. They don't wear this, this cap too much, but it's one of the alternate caps Tulsa's got. Here's the pitch, a fastball that sails up high at 95, and it's ball four. A couple of those fastballs were over the plate, but up a little bit in the zone. Our umpires tonight, Guillermo Rodriguez behind the plate. Chris Presley Murphy working first base, and Steven Rios Jr. at third. A one-out walk here in the top of the uh, first inning. No score. Here's Jordan Walker. Walker, big right-handed hitter up here. The runner goes, pitches up high, throw to second base, offline, and safe with a slide. Stolen base is Mason Wynn. So Wynn didn't wait long there to take off, and he steals the bag. Opponents continue to run on the drillers this year. Let's see, this season with stolen bases for the opposing teams, they now have stolen 231 bases. They've only been caught 36 times. It's right around 88% success rate for opponents running against the drillers. That first pitch was a strike to Walker. Next pitch, low and inside. Walker is a, a hulking. Right-handed hitter up here. He is uh, 6'5", 230 pounds. And the pitch. A bouncer in the dirt blocked by Rios. Let's give you the rest of the Drillers defense. Justin Yurchak is at first base. Aviato Avellino at second. Leonel Valera the shortstop. Cody Hosey at third. 
Brian Ward is the left fielder. Jaron Kendall in center, and Andy Paz around in right. And you've got Hurt on the mound. Two and one to count out of Walker. Here comes a pitch. Low and inside ball three. Walker is hitting 307. He's played now. This is his 116th game for the uh, Springfield Cardinals this year. He has hit 18 homers and knocked in 62 runs. 3 1 delivery. A swing and a bouncing ball towards short to his left. Fielded on the big hop by Valeri. He's got a hurry. His throw to first. Dug out and safe at first is Walker. That's a combination of uh, Valera, the shortstop, had to move over to his left to get that high chopping ground ball, and Walker runs well. Infield single over to third base goes win. It's going to be frustrating for Kyle Hurd. He's able to induce a ground ball that stays on the infield, yet, yet it's an infield single. Here's uh, Brady Whalen, the first baseman, first pitch. Down low ball. Oh, I beg your pardon, a strike. Pitch was on the outside corner, and it's an 0 1 count now to Brady Whalen, playing in just his 27th game for the Cardinals. Pitch, swing, and a ball hit in the air, foul down the third base side, and this one will hit off the netting down the line. Foul ball. Brady Whalen's hitting 329, no homers, 13 RBIs. Again, playing in just his 27th game with Springfield. Left-handed batter up here with runners on the corners and one out. Top of the first inning, no score. Now we have a timeout called at the plate by the batter, Whalen. You know, the stadium lights turned on, but not necessarily taking effect yet. Mentioned that the uh, sun is already set. And the field is uh, in shadow, completely in shadow. Here's the pitch, and that's down low. Right now, as you look at the infielders, you can see a little bit of their uh, shadows on the infield dirt. It's just not quite dark yet enough for the uh, stadium lights to cast those shadows. Here's a throw over to first base, and diving back safely is Walker. A little bit of a wind blowing in at 10 miles per hour from left center field towards the third base foul line. One, two, runner goes to second pitch. He's swinging a pop up in the shallow left field. Coming on strong is Ward, and this is a fair ball. Base hit into score from third base is win. Brian Ward had a long way to run, and I thought at the last moment he was going to dive for that ball, and it uh, hit just inside the uh, left field foul line. Ryan did not dive for it. He played on a hop, and it's a 1-0 lead for the Cardinals. So that walk, that one-out walk, comes around and scores. Jordan Walker was moving on the pitch. He holds it second base on that RBI single by Whalen. Here's uh, Julio Rodriguez, the DH. First pitch, he takes upstairs, ball one. Rodriguez hitting 266, 11 homers. He's knocked in 48 runs. Had a grand slam here yesterday. Julio Rodriguez. Pitch and swing, and he trips, tries one foul down the uh, right field side. Rodriguez, young man out of uh, the Dominican Republic. He was signed by the uh, St. Louis Cardinals as an international free agent back in 2016. Right-handed batter up here with runners at first and second. The pitch, and he misses inside. Kyle Hurd is already up to 19 pitches in the inning. Right-hander to the plate in the pitch, a swing and a miss. And the count now even at two balls, two strikes. Kyle Hurd. This year with the Drillers, three different starts has not gotten out of the first inning. And that has been in large part due to the number of pitches. He has to come out after 30 plus pitches in an inning. Next pitch, he's swinging a fly ball to right. Back on it is Paw is the warning track at the fence. He makes the catch. 
And then wheels and guns it towards second base. Tagging from second to third is Walker. Once again, Andy Paz shows off the uh, strength of his arm. He caught that ball right up against the four foot high fence in the right field corner and then wheeled around quickly. And uh, he uncorked a strong throw to second base. Brady Whalen holds at first base, did not tag due to that strong throw. Now there's two outs. Here is Nick Raposo, the catcher. He had a home run here on Tuesday night. First pitch, he called strike one. Yeah, the Dodgers, like uh, other organizations as well, they've got a pitch limit for if you throw 30 or more pitches in one inning, you're usually coming out. And that's what's happened to Kyle Hurt on three occasions as a starter this year. Next pitch, and that is a strike on the inside corner. Drillers getting ready for the North Division playoffs, the first round playoffs, which will begin next Tuesday night in Wichita. Game one. The 0 2, runner goes to second pitch, a swing, and a foul back. The North Division playoffs. Game one Tuesday night at Riverfront Stadium in Wichita. We'll have the broadcast for you right here on AM 1430 The Buzz. Game two will be here next Thursday night, one week from tonight. Pitch, a fastball runs inside. That came in at 94. Kyle Hurt, big guy, 6'3", 240. 24 years young. He's out of Rancho Santa Fe, California, Southern California. Played his college ball at USC. For the Trojans, throw over to first base, the runner diving back. Hurt was originally signed in the fifth round in 2020 by the Miami Marlins and then traded this last February from uh, Miami to Los Angeles. Right hander's pitch is low and outside. Kai Rios, the catcher, in his driller's debut. Two and two to count with two outs. Here it comes, the pitch, swing, and a foul back. Fought off a 96-mile-per-hour fastball on the inside corner. This series tied at a game apiece. The season series is tied 10-10. And a pitch, swinging the ground ball back up the middle into center field, a base hit. Walker scores. RBI single by Raposo, his 34th RBI of the year. 2-0 lead for the Cardinals. And the batter will be Irving Lopez, but uh, not before Ryan Denick, the pitching coach, heads out to the, uh, the mound. Well, tonight's umpiring crew brought to you by the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office. They remind us that on average, 241 Oklahomans are killed each year in crashes where alcohol or drugs play a factor. Together, we can end DUI. A safety message from the Oklahoma Highway Safety Office. Our umpires tonight, we mentioned that Guillermo Rodriguez behind the plate. Chris Presley Murphy at first base and Steven Rios Jr. at third. Yeah, we'll be keeping an eye on the uh, Texas League scoreboard tonight, especially the uh, South Division teams coming into action tonight. Frisco leads the South by two and a half games in front of Midland, three games in front of Amarillo. Amarillo is playing at San Antonio, and uh, Midland is at home tonight hosting Wichita. Frisco is playing at Northwest Arkansas. First pitch, a pitch in the dirt blocked by Rios. That keeps the runners at first and second. Well, once again, Kyle Hurd is approaching that 30 pitch limit, maybe. He has now, now thrown 29 pitches in the first inning. Drillers do have somebody getting warm at the bullpen. Swing it out, fly ball to left. Playable for Ward as he comes in and makes the catch. Coming into his right, he went back a couple of steps and then raced into his right. And on the run, he reached up and caught that ball about chest high. 
Side retired, but the Cardinals come up with two runs as we head to the bottom of the first inning tonight in downtown Tulsa at One Oak Field. The Redbirds two, the Drillers are coming up. Here come the Tulsa Drillers in the bottom of the first inning tonight at One Oak Field. They're down two nothing to the Springfield Cardinals. Cardinals coming up with a pair of runs on three hits and a walk in the first inning. Here's Leonel Valera to face Gordon Graceffo, the right-hander. Valera waiting, and here it comes. The first pitch he takes just off the outside edge, ball one. Gordon Graceffo, a big guy, 6'4", 215-pound right-hander. Hometown is uh, Cranford, New Jersey. Played his college ball at Villanova for the Wildcats. Pitch, fastball in there for a strike. Leonel Valera is hitting 296, 13 homers, 60 RBIs. He has been red hot of late, a six game hitting streak in order. And the pitch, swing and a chopper towards short, charged by Wynn, fields on the big hop, guns to first for the out. Boy, Valera can fly up the line there, made it close. Here is Justin Yurchak. Justin checks in, hitting 282 with seven homers, 47 runs driven in. Left handed batter up here with slightly open stance. Graceffo, the right hander's pitch, swung on and lined to center, coming into his left and making a running catch is Mike Antico, two down. Your Jack hit that ball well, but lines out to the center fielder, two outs. And the batter will be Andy Paz. The Cardinals defensively tonight. Nick Raposo behind the plate. Grady Whalen at first base. Irving Lopez at second. Mason Wynn the shortstop. Jacob uh, Bushberger is at third base. Todd Lott in left field. Mike Antico the center fielder. Jordan Walker in right. Graceffo's first offering a swing and a bouncing ball over the mound. Charged by the second baseman Lopez. Fields throws to first. And the drillers gone in order. We played one on a magnificent Thursday night here in downtown Tulsa. First pitch tonight, folks, 85 degrees with a 10 mile per hour breeze. Couldn't ask for better weather. We head to the second inning, two nothing Cardinals. Cardinals coming to bat here in the top of the second inning, leading the drillers two nothing. This is Todd Lott to lead off for the Redbirds. First pitch in there for a strike. Driller's starter tonight is right-hander Kyle Hurt. Hurt, the right-hander, swings into his windup. The pitch, swing, and a ball hit down the right field line. That is a slicing foul ball. Slams off the padded wall in the right field corner and rolls out towards right field. Where Avellino, the second baseman, will retrieve it. Todd Lott is hitting 191 in 28 ball games for the uh, Cardinals this year. Three homers, 15 runs driven in. He's going back now to the uh, Cardinals third base dugout to get some of that sticky spray to put on his batting gloves. Well, as you might imagine, with that uh, bright red jersey, he's got the uh, red gloves. Very well uh, color coordinated out there. 0 oh 2 to count to the right handed batter, Lott. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a ground ball back to Hurt, who had his back turned, but he hits off his back. He picks up the ball and throws to first for the out. Kyle Hurt finished his uh, windup with his back to home plate. And as that ball was hit right back at him, it hit him in the lower back. And uh, he was able to reach down and pick it up and throw to first for the out. Actually, might have hit him a little bit lower than the uh, lower back, but he gets the out. Here's the first pitch is in there for a strike to a Jacob uh, Bushberger. One down in the Cardinals' second inning. Springfield leading two nothing. Pitch, a little bit low and outside from Hurt. Jacob Bushberger, although his last name is spelled B-U-C-H. 
B E R G E R. It is pronounced Bush Burger. Pitch a little bit low and outside. And Springfield Cardinals radio announcer is Andrew Buckbinder. That is B U C H. But it's called Buck. Buckbinder. But this is Bush Burger. Next pitch is outside. So the count now goes to three balls and one strike to Bushberger. With Mike Antico, the top of the order waiting on deck. Here's a 3 1 pitch, he is outside, ball four. Second walk issued by Kurt tonight. He issued a one out walk in the first inning. Oh my, here comes uh, Driller's manager, Scott Hennessy. Kyle Hurt with 38 pitches, and Scott Hennessy is coming out to make a change. I mentioned earlier that uh, Kyle Hurt has had three games this year where he has not gotten through the first inning because of a high pitch count. And uh, tonight, he was right at, I think, 30 pitches for the first inning. And he has now thrown. 39 pitches on the evening. He's coming out. And uh, the number is on Lockhart with the drillers. He's appeared in eight ball games counting tonight. Five as a starter. One win, one loss, and a 4.50 earned run average for Lyle Lockhart. Lockhart has pitched 30 innings, given up 26 hits, two homers, 16 walks, 28 strikeouts. So here is Mike Antico who popped out to start the ball game. Lefty on lefty. First pitch, fastball rides up and in, ball one. Lockhart works out of the stretch with a runner at first base. Here he comes to the plate, pitch swing and the ball pop foul back behind the plate. Kyle Hurt goes an inning and a third. Surrenders uh, three hits. To this point, two runs both earned. He had two walks and no strikeouts. Next delivery from Lockhart is up high and in inside, and that is ball two. Two balls and one strike to Antico, the left-handed batter. Here comes a pitch and a fastball that's inside. And now the count moves to three balls and a strike. Three and one the count. Runner at first base is Bushberger. And now a step in the throw to first and the runner back. Arkansas, they're at home tonight facing Corpus Christi. Travelers leading the hooks. Arkansas leading one to nothing after three innings. Pitch, swing, and a ball popped in the air. Shallow center field coming in a hurry is Kendall. Ward to left fielder makes a sliding catch. Ryan Ward was charging hard in from left field, went into a slide on the grass, and as he was sliding along the grass, he made that catch. He went into a slide before he caught the ball. Seeing a great replay now on MILB TV, and I continue to be impressed with Ryan Ward defensively all season long. Hope we'll definitely put a star by that one. Not sure that Jaron Kendall, the center fielder, could have got that one. He was too, he was deep. Here's Mason Wynn. Wynn, a right-handed batter. Walked and scored his first at bat tonight. First pitch, fastball is up high. Same two teams will be here again tomorrow, Saturday, and then Sunday night as well. 
Final three games of the regular season here at one oak. Next pitch, fastballs up high now. Quick throw to first and the runner back. Quick throw by Kekai Rios. You know, the drillers have had a couple of uh, catchers go down this past week in Frisco. Both Carson Taylor and Ryan January on the IL right now. Next pitch, a fastball sails up high. Not sure when they'll be back, if at all. I was talking to a Scott Hennessy, driller manager, today, and he said there's a possibility they might be back, but not sure about that. Both took foul tips off the face mask. Next pitch in there for a strike from Lockhart. So right now the drillers, their two uh, catchers, Chris Betts and uh, Kai Rios, going into the playoffs. Now stepping to throw to first by Lockhart, runner back. You got a short lead. <laughs> Top of the second inning in Midland. Wichita leading Midland three to one. Wichita clinched the North Division second half title on Tuesday night. And the next pitch is outside ball four. So Wynn draws the walk his second of the night. <laughs> Driller pitchers already have issued three walks tonight. Here is Jordan Walker who reached on infield single. Scored in the first inning. Lockhart, who uh, pitched at the University of Arkansas for the Razorbacks, pitching swing and a miss. Boy, challenged him with a fastball up around the letters. And uh, Jordan Walker with a big swing and a miss. Lockhart, left hander, delivers. Pitch. Missed off speed up high. Came in at 81. Jordan Walker out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. One on one the count. Here it comes. A pitch. Swinging the ball. Hit in the air to shallow right field. Paws comes drifting in. Parks under it and makes the one handed catch. As the runners were racing around the bases, that's the third out. We head to the bottom of the second inning. Here at One Oak Field, it's 2 0 Springfield. Ryan Ward will start things off for the Tulsa Drillers here in the home half of the second inning. As uh, the Springfield Cardinals lead it 2 0, the Cardinals coming up with two runs in the first inning. So here is Ryan Ward to lead off the second inning against Gordon Graceffo. Graceffo rocks into his motion, the pitch. Fastball, a strike on the inside corner. Graceffo back on July 13th here at One Oak Field. First game of a doubleheader. He pitched a complete game, seven inning, complete game win. Pitch a swing and a miss. That patented uh, healthy cut by Ryan Ward. And the count 0 2. Ryan is hitting 255 on the season, 28 homers, second most in the league, 77 runs driven in. Next pitch, off speed, misses low and outside. Since missing 10 games on the injured list in his last 19 ball games, 12 hits and 71 at bats, that's a 169 average with one homer, four doubles, and eight runs driven in. Next pitch, breaking ball a little bit low, a curveball. Of his last 71 at bats, he has 26 strikeouts. He's trying to get his swing back. He was swinging the bat so well prior to going on the injured list. Here comes the 2 2, and he swing and he shoots one foul to the left. Brian, who played his college ball at uh, Bryant University in Rhode Island, young man who's from Massachusetts. Two and two to count. Graceffo delivers the pitch, swing, and he lifts it foul down the third base side. Ward lunged at that pitch and hit it off the outside corner. Foul ball down the left field side. 
That was more of a protective swing. Trillers and the Cardinals tonight here at One Oak Field. We're in the second inning. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Pitch down and in. Big uppercut and a miss by Ward. One down here. That is the first strikeout for Graceffo. And uh, here comes Brandon Lewis. Brandon checks in, hitting 211, tied for fifth in the Texas League in home runs with 23. He's knocked in 67 runs. Big right handed batter. First pitch, fastball taken for a strike at the knees at 98. Brandon Lewis, 6'2, 222, out of Granada Hills, California, Southern California guy. And the pitch. Swing and a foul tip, strike two. That came in at 97 from Graceffo. Graceffo, a really good looking prospect for the Cardinals. Right hander, both feet on the rubber. Peers in over his mitt for the sign. Now goes into his windup. Here he comes, a pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him a three pitch strikeout. That pitch there, radar gun shows 98 miles per hour down and away that pitch. Back to back strikeouts for Graceffo, two down. And the batter is going to be Abiato Abelino. Abelino coming on offensively here late in the season. His last nine ball games, 10 for 31. That's a 323 clip. First pitch, he takes low, ball one. Over the last nine ball games, Homer, three doubles, eight runs driven in. Avalino was originally signed by the New York Yankees. Now spent a little bit of time in the big leagues with the San Francisco Giants. Pitch swing and a miss at 97 that fastball. Cardinals lead it 2 0. Bottom of the second inning here at 1 0. Beautiful time of the night right now as the sun is set. Twilight time. Next pitch. Swinging the ball. Hit in the air. High to right field. The right fielder, Walker, doesn't see it. Now he does. And he makes the catch. It's a tough time of the night. Twilight time with the glow of the lights. Easy to lose that ball. That's the third out. So we played two here in downtown Tulsa. Scoreboard shows Springfield two, Tulsa nothing. Drillers and Cardinals here at One Oak Field tonight. Great to have you with us on AM 1430 The Buzz and also those watching on MILB TV. Here's Brady Whalen, the Cardinal first baseman to lead off the third inning. Two nothing lead for Springfield. Pitch swing and a ball popped up. Foul ball first base side coming in is uh, your check to make the two handed catch in foul territory. That was a uh, very fundamentally sound catch. Pitch Justin your check. So Whalen, who had RBI single his first at bat, fouls out here to the first baseman Yurchak. One out, and here is Julio Rodriguez, the designated batter. He flied out deep to right his first trip. Lockhart's first delivery is up high, ball one. Now yeah, the uh, downtown Tulsa skyline lighting up beyond right field. Here comes a pitch and a breaking ball misses up high. Took a little bit off that one at 74. For the drillers tonight, Kyle Hurt started, went an inning and a third, gave up three hits, two runs earned. He had two walks, no strikeouts. 38 pitches, 21 strikes. Pitch swung on and popped in the air to shallow left field. Ward's coming in, going out as Valera, but Ward the left fielder makes the catch. Two down in the Springfield third. Meanwhile, Frisco at Northwest Arkansas. Northwest Arkansas has just played it three runs in the third. So the Naturals are leading the Frisco Rough Riders 3 0 after, well, they're still in the bottom of the third there at our best ballpark. Here's Nick Raposo, the catcher. 
RBI single his first at bat. First pitch is a strike on the inside corner from Lyle Lockhart. You know, that South Division race is going right down to the wire. In the pitch, a little bit low and outside. Start of action tonight, Frisco. Two and a half game lead over Wichita. Amarillo three games back. So you've got a three team race with less than a week to go. Pitch swinging the ball hit in the air to right center field. Playable for Paz, a right fielder drifting over to his right and makes the one handed catch to end the inning. So it's a one, two, three inning for Lyle Lockhart. And as we move now to the home half of the third inning here at One Oak, it is two nothing Cardinals. Tulsa Driller is coming to bat here in the bottom of the third inning, trailing Springfield 2 0. Meanwhile, that ball game in Midland, it is Wichita now leading the Midland Rockhounds 5 1 in the bottom of the second inning. I mentioned last inning that Frisco is currently trailing 3 0 in Northwest Arkansas. And again, Frisco has a two and a half game lead over Wichita, three games in front of Amarillo in the South Division second half race. Here's Jaron Kendall. First pitch, swing and a miss. Fastball that came in there at 93. Jaron hitting 168 on the year, six homers, 19 RBIs. Left handed batter up here. Persefo to the plate and the pitch, swing and a miss. Fastball up at 95. Jaron in his last eight ball games, eight for 24 at the plate. That's a 333 clip with a double, seven walks and two runs driven in. Over that stretch, he's raised his batting average 19 points. Going to the count now. Persefo, long steering to home plate. Now he goes into his windup, and the pitch is low and inside. Well, that one came in there at 98. Cardinals with two runs in the first inning, leading 2 0. We're now in the third. Game three of this six game series. These teams will wrap it up here Sunday night at 6.05. Pitch a swing and a miss. Went up the ladder at 97 with a fastball. And Kendall strikes out. Third strikeout now for Graceffo. Graceffo is bringing the heat. Here's Cody Hosey playing third base and batting eighth in the order tonight. Cody right handed batter hitting 232. First pitch looked like a slider in there for a strike at 88. Cody Hosey playing in just his 75th ball game this year. He's had a couple of injuries been on the I.L. a couple of times. Pitch and a slider. Did he check his swing? He did not on the appeal. That is Chris Presley Murphy, the umpire at first base, says strike two. Nightfall now here in Tulsa. These new LED lights in full uh, focus. Here's a pitch. Swing and a ball swatted foul to the right out of play. Well, as I look to the right, the sun is at sets. There's still a, a low band of kind of orange hue. Then it uh, dissolves into uh, the evening dark sky. <laughs> Beautiful sunset over there. Next pitch, a bouncer in the dirt. Drillers playing game number 133. There's a look for those watching on MILB TV at uh, downtown Tulsa. Just beyond right field. One ball and two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him with a breaking ball with some late sink. That is four strikeouts now for Graceffo, and the batter will be newcomer Keikai Rios. Rios, who just joined the drillers a day or two ago, called up from the Dodgers high eight ball club in the Midwest League, the Great Lakes Loons. Pitch swing and a foul back into the screen. Right handed batter. Rios is from Hawaii. Right 
And a batter up here. And here comes Graceffo's pitch in a swing, and he chops one foul to the third base side. Drillers manager Scott Hennessy in the third base coaching box, and Chris Gutierrez at first. Springfield on top, 2 0. We're in the bottom of the third inning. Rios waiting from the right side, slightly open stance. Here it comes, a pitch. And a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Graceffo strikes out the side. He has struck out five of the last six driller batters. We played three in downtown Tulsa. It is 2 0 Springfield. Well, we head to the uh, top of the fourth inning. Every fourth inning brought to you by Hornitos. Hornitos is the official tequila of Tulsa Drillers baseball. Offering a bolder and smoother tequila, Hornitos is a shot worth taking. Springfield Cardinals on top of the Drillers, 2 0 fourth inning. Here's Irving Lopez to lead off against Lyle Lockhart, the uh, left hander. Lockhart working off the third base side of the pitching rubber goes into his windup and the pitch low and outside. Irving Lopez 0 for 1 with a fly out to left field. And the pitch low and outside to left handed batter ball 2. Now the Springfield Cardinals have had a much better second half than first half. They were eliminated only on Tuesday night, the second half race. Here comes Lockhart's 2 0, and that is in the dirt, ball three. Three 0 the count to the Cardinals leadoff batter here in the fourth. And the pitch is in there for a strike. Three and one the count now to Lopez with Todd Lott waiting on deck. Lockhart throws and in there. Strike two called. Irving Lopez kind of sheepishly was getting ready to throw his bat aside. Thought maybe that was ball four. Now it's a full count. 3-2 is a swing and a liner down the left field line. A fair ball headed into the corner. Racing over to cut it off is Ryan Ward. And uh, Irving will cruise into second base. Irving Lopez into second base with a double. Boy, from the left side, he just reached out and angled that ball right down the third baseline. And uh, the batter is going to be Todd Lott. Well, we got a moment here. want to pass along a great big... Uh, Welcome and hello to one of our uh, faithful listeners out there, Jerry Cooper. Jerry uh, sent us a really nice email to the Drillers and says that she's been listening to uh, Drillers baseball for the last 15 or more years and uh, listens all the time. And she referenced Mark Neely, who was the uh, broadcaster here in Tulsa before I was aboard. Here's Todd Lott, and the first pitch is high and outside ball one. You know, we like to acknowledge our longtime listeners of Drillers Baseball on the radio, Jer Jerry Cooper. And here it comes, a pitch. Swing and a liner down the left field line. That's in there for a base hit. And it's going to get to the corner, chased down by Ward. But Lott goes into second base with a double, and it's now a 3-0 lead for the Cardinals. That is the first run surrendered by Lyle Lockhart. A pair of doubles here for the Cardinals. And Lott drives in his fourth RBI of the series. Here is uh, Jacob Bushberger. He walked his first turn. Right hand a batter in the pitch, and he takes upstairs ball one.
Runner at second base, a run in, nobody out here in the Cardinal fourth. Next pitch, breaking ball in there for a strike. Broke that one into the right hand of batter on the inside corner. And the pitch missed inside with another breaking ball. Too far inside. So the count is two and one. Here it comes a pitch, swing, and a foul to play. Cardinals now have three runs on five hits. Drillers, uh, no runs, no hits. We're in the uh, top of the fourth inning. Drillers gearing up for the uh, postseason. The playoffs begin next Tuesday night in Wichita against the wind surge. And the pitch, low and inside, ball three. So a full count and the pitch is taken low ball four. Second walk tonight for a bush burger. And now the top of the order and Mike Antico. Walks continue to be a bugaboo for driller pitchers. Here's Antico, who's 0 for 2, but it took a great sliding catch in left field by Ryan Ward to take a hit away in the second inning. First pitch misses, ball one. One run in, two on. Nobody out here in the fourth inning for the Cardinals in the pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Lefty on lefty here, Lockhart on the mound, and the pitch. Breaking ball missed inside a little bit high. So the count now two balls and one strike to Antico, and the pitch, swing and a miss. Sweeping breaking ball. Took a little bit off that pitch, did Lockhart, came in at 80. So the count now evens at two balls, two strikes. Lockhart takes a moment to uh, walk to the back side of the mound, scrape his cleats. Two and two the count to Antico. Here it comes a pitch swing and he pulls it down the right field line foul a foul ball. Now these two teams have met 20 times this year and they've split the first 20 games right down the middle. Ten apiece. Now I've brought back to second base by Lockhart. Now the uh, Tulsa Drillers released the 2023 schedule today. I can tell you that uh, the 2023 season begins on Thursday April 6th next year. Pitch swing and a foul back boy Antico into a protective mode just flicked his wrist at that pitch and fouled it back. So next year the Texas League will once again be a 138 game schedule. Every Monday will continue to be an off day. And uh, the drillers will start things off with a home game here on April 6th against 
San Antonio. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch. Swing and a ball hit in the air to shallow left center. Coming over is Kendall, the center fielder, and he makes the grab. First out of the inning. And the batter will be Mason Wynn, who has walked twice and scored a run tonight. So mark your calendar, Thursday, April 6th. The Drillers are going to play a three-game series against San Antonio. That'll be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, will be an off day, as will be the following Monday. And uh, the first pitch is outside, ball one to Mason Wynn. Then the Drillers will pack their bags and go on their first road trip. That's one we're all really looking forward to. We're heading to Midland, Texas. Here's the 1-0, and a breaking ball is in there for a strike. Came in off speed at 75 with that pitch. Mason Wynn, right-handed batter up here. Runners go. The pitch is down low to throw to third base, and safe. Head first slide by Todd Lott. Boy, a strong throw by Rios. See if we get a second look at that on MILB TV. So the Cardinals pull off a double steal. That throw was right on the bag, but uh, a great jump at second base by Todd Lott, and he swipes third. And. Uh, Bushberger is credited with a stolen base to second base. One and two to count. Lockhart delivers. The pitch taken up high, ball two. So the Cardinals successfully pull off the uh, double steal. 2-2. Two -two. Is a swing and a ball pop foul. This has enough on it to get out of out of play into the seats off the first base side. And the Cardinals tonight are three for three in stolen bases. Now the count is two balls, two strikes to Mason Wynn. Cardinals have a run in here in the fourth inning, leading 3-0. They've got runners at second and third with one out. Now a bluff back to second by Lockhart. Cardinals on the season, they now have 157 stolen bases. They've been caught only 38 times. Two balls, two strikes. Lockhart to the plate, and the pitch is just off the outside edge. My goodness. We get a second look at this one, but that's an awfully tight strike zone by Guillermo Rodriguez. Three balls, two strikes. And the pitch is inside. He walked him. Killer pitchers have already amassed. Five walks tonight. And uh, the batter now is going to be Jordan Walker. Ryan Denick, the pitching coach, heading out to the mound. Once again, I want to remind you that uh, playoff tickets are available for the Tulsa Drillers first round North Division playoffs against Wichita. It's a best of three series. It's the fourth time in the last five years the Drillers have made it to the postseason. And uh, tickets start at $8 a piece. TulsaDrillers.com gets you hooked up for game two of that playoff series. Game one will be in Wichita. Game two here one week from tonight. That's Thursday, September 22nd, a 7.05 first pitch. And then game three, if necessary, it's a best of three. 
would be here on Friday night, September 23rd at 7.05. So now the bases are full of uh, Cardinals. And here is Jordan Walker, one for two tonight. Pitch, and he misses upstairs, ball one. Yeah, the Cardinals yesterday racked up 12 runs on 12 hits. They won that ball game yesterday afternoon here. 12 6 over the drillers. Here's a 1 0 and a swing and a miss. There I mentioned that the uh, Cardinals have hit two grand slams in the series already. One on Thursday night and one yesterday. And they've got the bags full here now with one out. And a dangerous hitter at the plate. Pitch, and that is low and inside. Two balls and one strike to Jordan Walker. Bases full of Redbirds. Pitch, a swing and a line driving to center field, a base hit. Lot scores. And uh, Bushberger comes in and scores, and all the way to third base in there safely is Win. Two run single for Walker, and the Cardinals' lead now is 5 0. So the batter now is going to be. Brady Whalen. Jordan Walker drives in RBIs number 63 and 64 on the season. Brady uh, Whalen is one for two with an RBI tonight. First pitch, swing and a pop foul behind the plate. Coming back is Rios near the screen and he makes the catch. Whalen fouls out to the catcher. You don't see a whole lot of those here at 1 0. Foul balls behind the plate that's corralled by the catcher. In the banner is going to be Julio Rodriguez. Rodriguez has twice flied out, once deep to right and another to left. First pitch, breaking ball is in there for a high strike. Runners on the corners with two outs in the pitch, swing, and he drives one foul to the right out of play. Ball game is in the top of the fourth inning, and the Springfield Cardinals leading five to nothing. We now have a Adamas. Is warming up in the uh, drillers bullpen in right field, the right hander. Oh, and to the count here. Nope, stepping the throw to first, the runner back. I was uh, mentioning at a conversation today with drillers manager Scott Hennessy. We were talking about the upcoming playoffs and how he's going to structure his pitching. And uh, we were talking specifically about the bullpen and how he's going to align that. 0 2, the runner goes to second, pitches up high. And now the throw down to second base. The runner from third comes to the plate and safe. Where they hit first slide. Mason Wynn came bolting down the line from third. A hit first slide, the return throw from the second baseman, Avellino. What set that off was uh, Jordan Walker ran halfway to second base and stopped. And Rios came up out of his crouch and elected to throw to second base. And as he uncorked that throw, Wynn broke to the plate. The return throw from Avellino, not in time to get the head first sliding win. 6 0 lead for the Cardinals. Pitch a swing and a pop up way up there on the infield. First baseman Yurchak calling for it on the infield grass, and he makes the catch. But the Cardinals roll a four. 
And as we head now to the bottom of the fourth inning, the Drillers trail this one 6 nothing. Tulsa Drillers coming to bat here in the home half of the fourth inning and now trail the Springfield Cardinals 6 nothing. The Cardinals tonight have five stolen bases. They are five for five, twice with a double steal, including a steal of home plate by Mason Wynn. This is Leonel Valera. First pitch, he swings and pops it foul. Third base side coming over near the dugout is Bushberger, but this one will bounce off the roof of the dugout and into the seats. Springfield Cardinals have six runs on six hits. The Drillers, no runs, no hits. We are in the uh, home half of the fourth inning. Gordon Graceffo, the pitcher, goes into his windup in the pitch, and that is low and inside. You know how I know it's a really beautiful evening here tonight? I mentioned it's 85 degrees at first pitch. Just a, a beautiful evening all around. And the pitch that is high and inside. I know it's a beautiful evening with beautiful temperatures because they actually have the windows open in the main press box, and that never happens. The folks down to my left here, they always uh, have the windows closed with the AC on, but tonight those windows are open. Pitch swing and ground ball pulled to third to his left. Bushberger has it, throws to first, and just does get Valera. Valera tonight twice has been out at first in photo finishes. So now there is uh, one out here in the fourth inning. I think they've even got the windows open in the uh, the Hubbard suite tonight. Here's your Jack and uh, the first pitch slow breaking ball is up high ball one. So the driller is still looking for their first base runner their first hit. As uh, Gordon Graceffo has retired 10 in a row. Five by strikeout right hander delivers pitch down low. Well, we always have our window open here in the uh, radio booth. Whether it's uh, freezing cold in April or boiling hot in August. Got to have the window open here. Here's the pitch and that is a strike at the knees on the inside corner. You know I broadcast uh, football college football for Butler Community College. And they have a beautiful uh, tri level press box at the uh, stadium there BG products veteran sports complex. Here's the uh, 3 1 and a swing and a chopping ground ball to third filled in on the big hop by Bushberger throws to first for the out two down. It's now 11 in a row set down by Graceffo. But uh, the only problem I have with that press box it's just top rate it's it's big time. But the windows don't open to the booth. And so it's kind of hard to feel like you're at the football game because you're enclosed in the uh, windows in the booth and you can't really hear the fans too much. Pitch a swing and a ball chop foul up to third base side by Andy Paez. Of course we do have crowd mics so we could hear the crowd noise through our headsets but I don't know, I've always felt like you got to have the window open and get the feel for the uh, for the crowd below. Owen won the count. Here it comes. A pitch. And off speed misses inside. Pause grounded to second base is first at bat. Andy is hitting 236 on the year, 26 homers, 80 runs driven, and he leads the drillers now in RBIs. He had five yesterday. Pitch backs him off the plate. And the count two balls and one strike. Two gone, bags empty. Drillers at bat here in the bottom of the fourth inning, trailing 6 0 to the Cardinals. Paw is waiting. Graceffo rocks into his motion, the pitch, swing, and a foul tip into the catcher's mitt. 
Two balls, two strikes. Paul has hit two home runs here yesterday, including a grand slam. Five RBIs. And the 2-2 two -two is low in the dirt, ball three. Cardinals tonight, they scored two runs in the first inning, four more runs in the fourth. Three and two, the count to Paz. Persefo, both feet on the rubber, goes into his windup and throws the pitch, swing, and a foul tip into the catcher's mitt, strike three. So Graceffo starts the ball game by retiring the first 12 drillers. Springfield Cardinals coming to bat here in the top of the fifth inning, leading the drillers 6 0. Lyle Lockhart on the mound, and the left hander's first delivery sails up high ball one. We just had a marriage proposal between innings on the uh, first base dugout on the roof. And uh, I believe the answer was yes. Pitch is up high, ball two. Had a couple of those this year, marriage proposals at the ballpark. Two and zero the count to Nick Raposo, and the next delivery is down low, ball three. Raposo RBI single, and he's fly to right. He is uh, two for six in the series with a homer and two runs driven in. Pitch, and that is taken for a strike. Three and one the count. Three balls and one strike to the Cardinals catcher, Nick Raposo. And Lockhart to the plate, and the pitch is low and inside, ball four. And the walks now starting to pile up on the driller pitchers. Six. Tell you what, in the upcoming playoffs, you cannot, you can't be walking a lot of batters. Can't do it. Here is Irving Lopez. He is one for two with a fly out to left and a double. First delivery is fired in there for a strike from Lockhart. Starting pitcher Kyle Hurd had two walks in an inning and a third. And now Lockhart, the lefty, with four walks. Pitch, and he's swinging a fly ball to left. Moving over to his right is Ward. He gets there to make the catch. Out number one here in the uh, Springfield fifth. It's a really colorful matchup tonight when you look at the, uh, watch it, MILB TV. The, the blue jerseys of the Drillers and the red jerseys of the Cardinals. Nice uh, color contrast. Then you've got uh, Gary Shepard's dark green grass out there, the groundskeeper. And the pitch. Swing and a foul back. This is Todd Lott at the plate. Lott is uh, one for two with a RBI double and a run scored. Mentioned yesterday, he is a relative of Ronnie Lott, the NFL Hall of Famer. Pitch taken up high. Growing up in Southern California, as I did, I was very familiar with Ronnie Lott. He played at USC for the Trojans and then had his magnificent Hall of Fame career in the NFL. I think he didn't he play his whole career with the 49ers. Pitch, swing the ground ball towards short. Valera has it, scoops the second for one. Avellino to first, double play. Now the drillers turn a pair and get out of dodge. And as we move now to the home half of the fifth inning, drillers coming up. They trail this one to the Springfield Cardinals, 6 0. Gordon Graceffo has retired 12 in a row and six by strikeout. Ryan Ward will lead off the Tulsa fifth inning. 
Graceffo, the right hander, goes into his windup and the pitch. Off speed, drops one in there for a strike. Came in at 77 miles per hour. Ryan struck out swinging his first at bat. Second in the league in home runs with 28. Pitch swing and he chops one foul to the first base side into the uh, drillers dugout. <laughs> Owen to the count. Persefo gets his sign from the catcher Raposo. And here's the 0 2 and a fastball that sails up high at 97. Persefo has shown that fastball most of the night. That's 97 98. One ball, two strikes. Goes into his windup, and the pitch is a swing and a miss. That was a very similar pitch that he struck Ward out on his first at bat, a breaking ball down and into the left handed batter. A sharp breaking ball at 87. Persefo now has struck out seven and retired 13 in a row. Here is Brandon Lewis, the DH. Brandon struck out swinging his first at bat on three pitches. First deliveries up high, ball one. You know, the drillers are familiar with Graceffo. This is the third time they faced him this year. Graceffo's 2 0 against the drillers with a 1.93 ERA. Pitch, swing, and a miss. Got a good crowd here tonight on this Thursday night. Cepho, here he comes, a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Left center field, playable for Antico, the center fielder. He drifts under it and makes the catch as Lewis got underneath that one, and he skies out, out number two. Here comes Ambianto Avellino. He flied to right field his first at bat. Same two teams here again tomorrow night, 7.05 first pitch. Gates to the ballpark will open up at six. And the pitch, that is a strike on the inside corner. And uh, tomorrow night it is Oklahoma City Thunder night at the ballpark and a post game fireworks show. It's always a lot of fun when the Thunder come over, the cheerleaders, they have the uh, drum corps. Their mascot comes over. Pitch, off speed, dips a little bit low. So make your plans to join us tomorrow night, 7.05 first pitch, game four of this series. Here comes the 1-1. And he misses off speed inside, ball two. Drillers are down six to nothing. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning here. As the uh, 2022 regular season winds down, pitch, swinging a bouncing ball towards second base to his left, fielding on the big hop is Lopez, flips to first for the out, and it's another 1 2 3 inning for Gordon Graceffo, who has set down <clears throat> the first 15 drillers tonight. We played five complete. It is Springfield leading 6 0. Here is uh, Jacob Bushberger to lead off the Cardinals sixth. First pitch swing and a ball hit up the middle base hit. Just past the uh, pitcher Lockhart in a leadoff single for for Bushberger, who has now been on base all three times, two walks and a single. Top of the order now and Mike Antico, who's 0 for 3. Corpus Christi leading at Arkansas, 3 to 2 that ball game. Is in the uh, bottom of the seventh inning now. Wichita leading at Midland seven to four. That ball game's in the fifth. Check swing and a bouncer towards third, fielded by Hosey. Shoots a throw to first for the out. As Antico on a check swing bounces out to the third baseman Hosey on the infield grass. Down to second base goes Bushberger. Here 
Here comes Mason Wynn. Wynn tonight has walked all three at bats. He has scored twice, including a steal of home plate. The front end of a double steal. First pitch, cut on and missed, strike one. So Midland, they're at home tonight, trailing Wichita, seven to four in the bottom of the fifth inning. Midland starting to run out of time. They're two and a half games back of first place Frisco, and they've got five games left. Midland does. Next pitch is up high. Midland and Wichita will have a doubleheader on Saturday to make up for the rainout last night over in West Texas. One on one the count, and here it comes a pitch. Low in the dirt, scooped up by Rios. Yeah, they're in the bottom of the sixth inning in San Antonio. San Antonio, the missions leading Amarillo two to one. Amarillo still in the running. Three games back of first place Frisco coming into action tonight. Pitch. A fastball is up high. Three and one the count. To win. Pitch. And that is in there. Full count now. After the ball game yesterday, Andrew Buckbinder, the Broadcaster for the Springfield Cardinals and I, we made contact with the uh, Carey Twins. They're the uh, broadcasters, first year broadcasters in Amarillo. Here's a 3 2, and that is a swing and a miss. Got him on a breaking ball down and in. Ball was in the dirt, so the tag applied by Rios to complete the strikeout. But uh, the Carey Twins, they. Uh, Broadcast for Amarillo, and uh, they told us that they have their car packed. <laughs> They're in San Antonio, and uh, they plan to head home after the uh, the series in San Antonio. Here's uh, Jordan Walker, and the first pitch is inside, almost hit him in the foot. Ball one. However, Amarillo now has come on. They've won four in a row, and they're right back in the race. So they are only uh, three games out of first place with five to play actually four to play counting tonight. And the pitch swing and a miss breaking ball from Lockhart and the count now one ball and one strike but uh, the, the, the carry twins kind of assuming I guess that uh, Amarillo is not going to win the second half. So their car is packed with all their belongings they live in uh, the offseason in Florida. So they figured to just continue on to Florida after the series in San Antonio ends. <laughs> and I I mentioned to them, I said, you know, the baseball gods might frown on that. The fact that you guys are presuming you're not going to get in the playoffs. Here's the uh, pitch, a swing and a miss. Boy, Walker chased the pitch that was above his shoulders there. Ball two strikes. Runner at second base here in this sixth inning. And the pitch swung on and driven to center field deep. Going back to his left is Kendall, still going back on the warning track, makes the catch. So Jordan Walker skies out deep to center field, run down by Jaron Kendall. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. It remains the Cardinals six and the drillers nothing. Jaron Kendall will start off the uh, Tulsa sixth inning as uh, the drillers trail this one six to nothing to the Cardinals of Springfield. Kendall tonight 0 for 1 with a strikeout left handed batter up here in the first pitch and he takes in there for a strike. Boy Gordon Graceffo who has retired the first 15 in a row here tonight for the Cardinals. He is staying right on top of these hitters. He is just getting ahead in the count. Consistently, next pitch is a breaking ball, waved in and missed, strike two. It's a rare off speed pitch tonight for Graceffo, came in at 79 miles an hour. Graceffo has struck out seven, retired 15 in a row. 
Kendall waiting holds that bat upright as he waits. And the pitch swing and a miss a fastball at 97 up in the zone. Strikeout number eight for Graceffo. And now he has retired 16 in a row to start the ball game. Here is Cody Hosey 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And the pitch swing and a foul back. Graceffo now has thrown 56 pitches. We are in the sixth inning. One down, nobody on base for the Drillers. They're down 6 nothing. And the 0 1 swing and a foul back. He came in again off speed. Learn a slider at 86. Cody Hosey on the season, hitting 231, five homers, 33 runs driven in. He has missed a big portion of the season with injuries. Pitch a swing and a miss. A ball that bounced in the dirt. It gets away from the catcher. Raposo runs it down and throws to first to complete the double play, or excuse me, the strikeout. Well, remember that play there. And uh, here is. Uh, Kekai Rios in his first game as a driller. Struck out swinging his first at bat. Two down now in the uh, Tulsa sixth inning. First pitch runs inside, ball one. Nine strikeouts now for Graceffo. Rios, right handed batter, waiting in the pitch. Swing and he shoots one foul down the first base side up into the uh, Coors Light Refinery deck. Nice crowd tonight on this Thursday night. Thirsty Thursday, beautiful weather. Final home stand of the regular season. Remember, one week from tonight, game two of the Texas League North Division playoffs will be here at One Oak next Thursday night, 7 05 first pitch. Pitch, swing, and a foul to play. Got some folks tonight out on the uh, grass berms. Taking the ball game in. Kai Rios at the plate now with a count of one and two. Graceffo rocks into his motion. The pitch is just off the outside edge, 99 miles an hour. That's the first time we've seen Graceffo hit 99 in the gun tonight. Two and two the count. Two two pitch is swung on and lined off the glove of the third baseman. Bush Berger into left field. Drillers have their first runner of the ball game. On that line drive, we're seeing the replay. As uh, Bush Berger moved to his left, reached out, the ball glanced off his glove. And the drillers have their first hit of the ball game. Here is Lane El Valera, the shortstop. First pitch swinging a ground ball to short. Wynn has it underhands to second to Lopez for the out to end the inning. Drillers finally get a man on base. We head now to the seventh inning. It is six nothing Springfield. New pitcher coming on now for the uh, the drillers will be Jose Adamas, right-hander. Adamas comes on for Lyle Lockhart, who goes four and two-thirds innings, gave up four hits, four runs earned. Lockhart had four walks and one strikeout. 
We head to the seventh inning with Adamas on the mound. He is the third pitcher tonight for Tulsa. And he will begin facing Brady Whalen, the first baseman, left handed batter. 6 0 lead for the Cardinals in the seventh. First pitch swung on and line to right, and Paws comes in a step or two and makes the catch. That ball was stung by Whalen, but he lines out to right. One down, the batter is Julio Rodriguez, the DH. Drillers open the Texas League North Division playoffs next Tuesday night in Wichita. A best of three series against the wind surge. Pitch is fired down low, ball one from Adamas. Drillers in the Wichita wind surge. Game one on Tuesday at Wichita, game two here next week. One week from tonight. Pitch misses inside to Rodriguez, who's 0 for 3 tonight. The winner of that North Division uh, series will play the winner of the South Division series. Right now, San Antonio, the only confirmed team in the South in the playoffs. Next pitch, fastball misses inside at 98. San Antonio could play either Frisco. Midland or potentially Amarillo yet to be determined pitch and that is in there for a strike at 98 at the knees on the outside corner three and one to count three and one to count now to Rodriguez and a pitch swing and he chops one up to third base side fielded by Avellino, who throws to first for the out. Defensive switch here for the Drillers. Avellino moving to third base. And Betancourt coming in to play second base. And Hosey, the odd man out. One down in the Cardinals' seventh inning. Or two outs of bigger partners, Nick Raposo. First pitch, off speed inside ball one. Raposo, RBI single in the first inning, flied to right in the third and walked in the fifth. Pitch, swing, and a ball hit foul down the right field side, out of play. Yeah, a little bit of wind blowing in from left center towards the third baseline. All around beautiful evening here. 85 degrees at first pitch. You know, some more beautiful weather this weekend. Make your plans to join us here at One Oak. Tomorrow night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Sunday night, the finale is at 6.05. Pitch. Fastball misses at 99. San Antonio leading 2-1 to one over Amarillo at the end of 7. Amarillo pretty much has to win out to have a chance. Pitch, and that is in there for a strike at 97. And that evens the count 2 2 with two outs. Wichita leading 8 to 4 at Midland. That game's in the bottom of the sixth inning. Pitch, and that is off speed, dips low, ball three. Now Frisco's in the driving seat. They start tonight with a two and a half game lead over second place Midland, three in front of Amarillo. Pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out. He chased a bad one. And the side retired in order by Jose Adamas as we move down to the home half of the seventh inning. Here in downtown Tulsa, beautiful one oak field. Six nothing Redbirds. Brilliant outing tonight for Cardinal starter Gordon Graceffo, who steps aside now after six innings. And here is uh, Justin Yurchak to lead off. First pitch is down low, ball one from Andre Granillo. Granillo appeared in the uh, ball game here on Tuesday night. He faced six batters and didn't retire one. Right-handers pitch. Is in there for a strike. 
And the count evens at one and one to your Jack who has lined to center and grounded to third. Six nothing lead for Springfield in the seventh inning. Pitch and he tried to hold up. Did he go around? He did on the appeal. Third base umpire Stephen Rios Jr. said yes you did. And the count one ball two strikes. And the pitch misses outside off speed. You know, ball game on Tuesday night. Renillo, here's the next pitch, misses hop speed again up high. He faced six batters, gave up four hits, five runs earned. He had two walks and no strikeouts. And the right hander's 3 2 is a swing and a foul back. Renillo took the loss on Tuesday night, a 9 7 win for the Drillers. Your check waiting. Here it comes. A 3 2. Swung on and lined into right field a base hit. Solid single for Justin Yurchak. Only the second hit tonight for the Drillers. Batter will be Andy Paz, the right fielder. So Gordon Graceffo goes six innings, gives up one hit. No runs, no walks, and nine strikeouts. He had a perfect game into the sixth inning. First pitch, a called strike on the inside corner to Paz. Triller's only hit against Graceffo, a two out line drive off the uh, club to the third baseman, Bushberger. That was off the bat of. Uh, K. Kai Rios, the catcher. Next pitch misses. Pause, young man out of Havana, Cuba. And the pitch. Swing and he pulls one a shot past third. Down the left line, field line into the corner. Racing to third base is Yurchak. He's in there on a double by Pause. That was a bullet pass to third baseman Bushberger, who tried to go down to a knee with a backhand to get it, but it was past him. And now the drillers have runners at second and third with nobody out here in the seventh inning. So in this series, Andre Renillo has faced eight batters and hasn't retired one yet. First pitch to Ryan Ward is a big swing and a foul straight back. Ward tonight 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Left handed slugger awaits the pitch. Swung on and a shot pass first, a foul ball. Boy, he pulled that one just foul pass first. This is Cornillo's uh, only his third outing with Springfield. Right hander works out of the stretch, and the pitch is a swing and a miss. That was a, a breaking ball off speed up in the zone. And uh, Ward strikes out for the third time tonight. One down in the Tulsa seventh. And here is Brandon Lewis. Lewis has struck out and flied to center. And the pitch, swing and a miss. Breaking ball. Amarillo has come up with a run in the eighth inning at San Antonio to tie that game 2-2. And the pitch on the way to Lewis, and he takes a strike on the inside corner. Came in at 79 miles an hour, did uh, Granillo. And the 
Can now 0 and 2. Your Jack the runner at third, pause at second, and the pitch. Swing and a miss. A fastball that was up at 97. And after giving up a base hit and a double, Bonillo now with back to back strikeouts of Ward and Lewis. Here is uh, Abianto Avellino. He has skied to right and grounded to second. And the pitch is a fastball a little bit low at 97. Pavelino, right-handed batter up here. Hitting 209 on the season. The pitch, swing and a miss. Boy, he was fooled on an off-speed breaking ball at 83. Count one ball, one strike to Avellino. Runners hit second and third with two outs. And the pitch is a strike on the inside corner. Off speed pitch at 81. Six nothing lead for the Cardinals here in the seventh inning. And the pitch is a check swing. Did he go? Oh, he did. Says the first base umpire, boy, that's a tough call there. Avellino called out on a check swing by the first base umpire, Chris Presley Murphy. Seven innings in the books. Cardinals lead it 6 nothing. The Drillers in Springfield Cardinals, we head to the top of the eighth inning with Springfield on top 6 nothing. Drillers had a base hit and a double to lead off last inning, couldn't come up with anything. Three straight strikeouts after that. First pitch inside ball one. To begin the eighth inning, this is Irving Lopez at the plate. Adamas, the right hander on the mound. Here he comes in the pitch. Fastball away at 99, ball two. Cardinals with two runs in the first, four more in the fourth. And they're leading 6 0 in the eighth. Pitch a swing and a foul to play. Every home run the drillers hit here at beautiful one on field this year, Budweiser donates $50 to the Folds of Honor Foundation. Budweiser proudly supports Folds of Honor and America's military families. To date, the drillers have hit 91 home runs at One Oak this year for a grand total of $4,550 donated so far this year by Budweiser to the Folds of Honor Foundation. Next pitch, and that is in there for a strike and a count two and two. $4,550 off of Driller's home runs at One Oak this year. Here's a 2 2, and that is a bouncer in a dirt ball three. Folds of Honor Foundation provides educational scholarships for families of U.S. military personnel killed or disabled while serving our country. You can learn more. At foldsofhonor.org, F O L D S, foldsofhonor.org. 3 2 is inside, ball four. Leadoff walk for the Cardinals here in the eighth inning. Matter will be Todd Lott. Lott tonight is uh, one for three with a RBI double and a run scored back in the fourth inning. Same two teams here again tomorrow night. 7.05 first pitch. And the first delivery is up high, ball one. That came in at 98. And again tomorrow night is Oklahoma Thunder, Oklahoma City Thunder night. Thunder cheerleaders will be here, the drum corps. Should be a fun night tomorrow night. And more beautiful weather predicted for tomorrow. Projected next pitch, a swing and a miss. Gates to the ballpark open up at 6. And you can purchase tickets to all future Drillers games, including the upcoming playoffs, at TulsaDrillers.com.
Pitch, swing and a miss. Well, that fastball at 97 was up. And uh, Lott tried to shorten up his swing to uh, make contact. Couldn't do it. We are in the top of the eighth inning here in downtown Tulsa. And the next pitch, off speed, misses outside. So that ball game now goes to the bottom of the eighth inning in San Antonio. Amarillo is tied with the missions 2-2. Two two delivery swing and a ball driven to left center field and deep Kendall racing back to his left still going back to the warning track the wall and he can't get it. It might have been off his mitt. To second base and holding there is Lopez as Lott had to speed back to first base. That will be scored a hit. Boy, Jaron Kendall with a long run there into the gap in right center field along the warning track. Just in front of the four foot high fence, in front of the uh, bullpen for the Cardinals. Looked to me like he got his mitt on it, but couldn't uh, couldn't hold on to it. It scored a hit. Here is Jacob uh, Bushberger. In the first pitch is lone outside ball one. Bushberger tonight is perfect. He's walked twice and singled and scored a run. Next pitch, and the right-handed batter takes inside. Bushberger batting ninth in the order for the Cardinals. Two on, nobody out here. And the pitch, swing, and he shoots one foul. Off to the uh, first base seats. So the count now two balls and one strike as uh, Bushberger now asks for a timeout. You know, Northwest Arkansas is leading Frisco six to three in the bottom of the seventh inning. And a 2 1 pitch <clears throat> is up high, and that's ball three. Now, that could make for an interesting night if Northwest Arkansas beats Frisco. Amarillo wins, and somehow Midland battles back and wins. Things are going to get really tight in that South Division. Amarillo could pull to within a game and a half. Pitch a swing and a shot down the first base side, but a foul ball. Actually, I beg your pardon. Amarillo could pull to within two, two games with three to play. Midland, if they were to win, would pull to within a game and a half. And they have an extra game to play. They're playing a doubleheader at home on Saturday against Wichita due to a rainout last night. Pitch and a fastball that is up high, and that is ball four. Second walk of the inning for Adamas. Well, it's the uh, one play in the ba baseball game of baseball that you can't defend the walk. I've got eight walks now for the driller pitchers combined tonight. Eight. Here's Antico, and the uh, first pitch is in there for a called strike. Mike Antico is 0 for 4, but he was robbed in the second inning on a sliding catch by the left fielder Ryan Ward. Pitch, and that is in there. Strike two called at 98. Wichita's lead at Midland is 8 to 5 as they go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Next delivery misses inside. Three of the uh, four Texas League playoff teams we know now. Tulsa and Wichita in the north and San Antonio in the south.
One ball, two strikes to Antico. Bases are full of Cardinals, and the pitch misses outside. All three bases occupied by Cardinals. And a 2 2 delivery. Swung on and a ground ball to second, fielded by Bedcourt. Goes to second for one. Pilera to first. Double play. They run scores as the drillers turn that 4 6 3 double play. Now 7 0 lead for the Cardinals. Uh, Mason Wynn. Wynn is 0 for 1 officially tonight with a strikeout. Three walks and two runs scored. First pitch is up high. Ball one at 97. Drillers have turned two double plays tonight. By the way, uh, Antico does not get an RBI for that. A double play. And the pitch, swing, and a ball hit foul down the first base side out of play. Now that is uh, Guillermo Zuniga, the big right-hander in the bullpen, if you're watching on MILB TV tonight. Probably see Guillermo in the ninth inning. Pitch is a little bit low and inside. Cardinals have seven runs, eight hits, no errors. The drillers, no runs, three hits, no errors. We're in the uh, top of the eighth inning. And the pitch is a little bit low and outside at 98. That ball game has gone final in Little Rock. Arkansas has defeated Corpus Christi 5-3. Pitch, swinging a ball hit down the right field line. That's slicing a fair ball. Cut off in the corner by Paez. And uh, in to score is another run. And in to second base is Mason Wynn with an RBI double. Wynn drives in his 48th RBI of the year. Driller manager Scott Hennessy is coming out to make a change. I was mentioning earlier in the broadcast, I had a chance to uh, visit with Henny today. We were talking about the upcoming playoffs and uh, his plans for pitching. And uh, hasn't really definitively said who's going to start game one. I believe that uh, Nick Nestrini is going to start game two, it sounds like. And uh, we were talking about the bullpen, and he's really going to shorten up the bullpen for the playoffs. I think he might be looking at four or five relievers in the uh, postseason in that uh, three-game series coming up with Wichita in the North Division playoffs. There's very little room for error. Here comes uh, Zuniga on the pitch. Now you can bet this guy here is going to figure prominently into the postseason, Guillermo Zuniga. Zuniga this year is 11 for 12 in save opportunities. And he has been the guy down the stretch this year that has been called upon to close out games. Driller's bullpen took a big hit last week when uh, Nick Robertson was promoted to Oklahoma City. Well deserved promotion, but it was quite a one two punch with uh, Robertson and Zuniga coming in in safe situations. And Zuniga this year, he has now appeared in this will be his 47th outing, four wins, three losses, a 4.82 ERA. 29 walks, 64 strikeouts. When he's on, he's really good. Uh, Fastball in the upper 90s and a good slider changes the speed on the slider. So 
So Zuniga comes on here in the eighth inning for Adamas. And all of this is uh, setting up into the uh, for the playoffs. And the first pitch is a strike, a slider in the inside corner to Jordan Walker. They've got all these pitchers now, the bullpen pitchers on schedules leading into the playoffs. They want to keep these guys on schedule. And the pitch. Look out. Boy, that was in tight to Walker. He was able to bend back out of the way. Jordan Walker tonight has two hits, driven in two runs, scored a run. He now has driven in 64 runs on the season with 18 homers. Next pitch, a swing and a miss at a slider. You know, seeing Walker down there wearing jersey number 22, it reminds me of uh, Jack Clark when he played for the Cardinals. Jack the Ripper. Here comes a pitch and a check swing. Did he go? He did on the appeal. The first base umpire. Chris Presley Murphy calls him out, side retired. But the Cardinals come up with a pair of runs. And as we head now to the bottom of the eighth inning, Springfield leading 8 0. Here is Jaron Kendall to lead off the Tulsa Drillers' eighth inning. And the first pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. New pitcher. Luca Delatri. Delatri, the right hander. 6'6, 250 pounds. He's out of uh, New Jersey. Wall, New Jersey. And the next pitch, he's swing and a miss, right two. Delatri becomes the third pitcher tonight for the Cardinals. As uh, Gordon Graceffo, the starter, went six innings. Granillo went one inning. Renillo gave up two hits but no runs, and he had three strikeouts. Kendall waiting. 0-2 to count, and here it comes, a pitch, and he takes upstairs, ball one. Tough night tonight for driller hitters. They have struck out 12 times. They have only three hits. And the pitch. Strike three call, boy, an off-speed pitch. At 79 miles an hour on the outside edge. And uh, Jaron Kendall rarely, if ever, complains about a called strike by an umpire. That pitch there looked like it was maybe a little bit off the outside edge. So one out here in the uh, Drillers' eighth, and here is Cody Hosey to third, or excuse me, this is Betancourt who came on for Hosey. First pitch, right handed batter takes upstairs, ball one. Betancourt came into the ball game for Hosey in the seventh inning. And the pitch is a fastball for a strike on the outside corner at 92. Delatry, the right-hander working out of the stretch. And here he comes, a pitch, swing and a miss. Came in off speed at 78. To the count to Betancourt. And here it comes. A pitch, a swing, and he hits a soft liner. First base side, a foul ball, and he broke his bat in the process. Well, coming up in our post-game show, we'll be naming our Delta Dental player of the game. Delta Dental is Oklahoma's leading dental benefits provider. We'll also be having our uh, Coors Light play of the game. Coors Light keeping Oklahoma chill. Bed and court down the count, one ball, two strikes, one out here in the eighth inning. Eight nothing lead for the Cardinals. And the next pitch, fastball is high and inside.
Two balls, two strikes. Here he comes, a pitch. Swinging a ball, hit in the air to center. Plenty of room out there for Antico. Walk, walks in a couple of steps and makes the catch two outs. Here is uh, Kikai Rios. It was Rios who broke up the perfect game in the sixth inning. Hit a line drive and the third baseman, Jacob uh, Bushberger, lunging to his left, actually got his mitt on the ball but couldn't uh, hold on to it and went into left field for a base hit. And the first delivery is up high ball one. Rios is one for two. This is his driller's debut, a strikeout and a base hit. Pitch, and that is in there for a strike. One on one to count. Here it comes a pitch and a breaking ball is too far inside. On deck batter is Lane L. Valera waiting to hopefully get up this inning. Pitch a swing and a miss. That fastball at 92 was up around the shoulders and a bad court went after it. Excuse me, uh, Rios at the plate. And the pitch is a fastball. He lays off that one, it was up in the zone. And it's now a full count to Rios. Three balls, two strikes. And the pitch is taken up high, ball four. Good at bat there for Rios. That is the first walk issued by a Cardinal pitcher tonight. Eight nothing lead for Springfield. And the batter now is Leonel Valera, who's 0 for 3. And the pitch, swing and a foul back. Valera has grounded out three times and twice. The shortstop win has thrown in him out by an eyelash. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Upstairs with a 92 mile per hour fastball. Valera's third ground out was a uh, force out at second on a ground ball to short. 0 2 the count. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out to end the inning. Valera has a six game hitting streak in order, but that's in jeopardy now. We head now to the ninth inning. It is 8 0 Cardinals. Drillers uh, trail this one to the Cardinals. 8 0 as we move to the top of the ninth inning. This is uh, Brady Whalen, the first baseman, and the first pitch backs him off the plate. Ball one. Looking ahead to the uh, Tulsa ninth inning. Your Jack. Paz and Ward, the two, three, and four hitters coming up. Next pitch in there for a called strike by Zuniga. Now the Trillers this year just looking ahead. They have been shut out six times. And the pitch is inside off the glove of Rios, the catcher, the backstop. Ball two. Two balls and one strike. And the pitch is a little bit up high, I guess.
Three balls and one strike to Wayland. Left hand a batter up here. Here he comes, a pitch. Swinging a ball, hit in the air. Way up there in the shallow right field. Betancourt, the second baseman, gives way now to Paz, who makes the catch to right fielder. And the Cardinals scored two runs in the first inning tonight and not look back. This is uh, Julio Rodriguez coming up now. Rodriguez, the designated hitter, 0 for 4. First pitch, swing and a miss at a slider at 88. Drillers and Cardinals here again tomorrow night, post game fireworks show. Pitch swing and a chopper. Over the mound towards second base, charged by Betancourt, and he throws to first for the out. Nicely done. Here is Nick Raposo, the catcher. So after tonight's ball game, there's just three games left in the regular season. Tomorrow night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Sunday night, the finale at 6.05, and also be a huge fireworks show after that game on Sunday night. Fan appreciation night. First pitch is inside ball one. And then we've got the playoffs coming up next Tuesday night in Wichita. Game one of a best of three series. So they get to the plate and a swing and a miss. Fastball that was in at 98. Zuniga, young man who is out of Cartagena, Colombia. Next pitch is in there. It came in off speed with a slider at 86. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out on another slider that was in the dirt. And that ends the inning. So we move to the home half of the ninth inning, bottom of the ninth inning. Drillers coming up, down 8 0. You know, last call for the Tulsa Drillers here in the bottom of the ninth inning. They're down 8 0 to the Springfield Cardinals. Cardinals will bring in the uh, Dalton Roach, a new pitcher, right hander. Roach becomes the Fourth pitcher of the night for the Cardinals. Their starter tonight, Gordon Graceffo, was brilliant. Six innings, one hit, no runs, no walks, nine strikeouts. And then uh, Granillo pitched an inning, and then uh, Alatri an inning. And now in the ninth inning, it is Dalton Roach. Here's Justin Yurchak, the leadoff, and the first pitch is a strike on the inside corner. These Cardinal pitchers tonight have attacked the driller hitters with first pitch strikes. They are getting ahead in the count quickly. Roach out of the stretch and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Came in with an off-speed breaking ball. Yurchak has one of the three driller hits. A base hit in the seventh inning. Eight-nothing lead for the Cardinals. Ninth inning. Pitch. Missed up high. Dalton Roach is out of uh, Wisconsin. One and two the count now to Yurchak and the pitch. Missed up high off speed breaking ball. Two and two the count. Is that an Eclair he's from? Wisconsin is how you say it, Eclair. Two and two the count. Here it comes, a pitch. And it misses up high ball three. Drillers here in the ninth inning. Gearchak, Pajes, and Ward. Anybody gets on base? Brandon Lewis would get a chance. Drillers trying to avoid what would be their seventh shutout loss of the year. 
pitch, swinging around ball up the middle, but the shortstop playing perfectly. And Wynn has it and shoots a throw to first base for the out. Here's Andy Paez. Paez has grounded to second, struck out, and doubled. The closest the drillers have come to scoring tonight was in the seventh inning. Justin Yurchak with a base hit and then Paez with a double. He had runners at second and third with nobody out, but then three straight strikeouts. First pitch is high and outside ball one. Roach to right-hander. Here he comes, a pitch, and that is inside with a fastball at 92. The drillers have only been shut out at home once this year so far. And the pitch, swinging the ball, popped up. First base side into foul territory, and the first baseman, Whalen, with the catch, and now the drillers down to their last out. Ryan Ward. Ryan tonight is 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. Cardinal pitchers tonight have racked up 14 strikeouts. First pitch, lost a handle on a breaking ball, way outside ball one. Game four of the series coming up here tomorrow night. 7.05 first pitch, gates of the ballpark open at six. Pitch, swung on in a Fly ball to shallow center field. Going out is win the shortstop. He's got it. Ball game over. So the Springfield Cardinals grab game three of this six game series. And they win this one tonight with a shutout, a three hit shutout by four pitchers. As they win it by a final score of eight to nothing. And again, Drillers uh, shut out for the seventh time this year and manage only three hits. So here come your totals for the Springfield Cardinals. Eight runs, nine hits, no errors, and seven runners left. The Drillers, no runs, three hits. And uh, the Drillers also played errorless baseball tonight. And uh, the Drillers ended up leaving on base a total of four runners. And the winning pitcher with a brilliant effort, it is Gordon Recefo. He's now seven and four on the season, three and zero against the Drillers this year. And the loss goes to the starter Kyle Hurt. He falls to one and five. Recefo is seven and four. No save in the ball game, and no home runs. Ball game without any home runs here tonight at One Oak Field. Now with this loss, the Drillers now 68 and 65 on the season, 28 and 38 in second half play. Drillers now 35 and 31 at home, 33 and 34 on the road. Springfield now 66 and 69 on the season, 35 and 31 in second half play. Time of the game was two hours and 37 minutes, 2:37 our game time. And tonight's attendance, 4,602, 4602. Drillers fall, shut out by a final score of 8-0. Dennis Higgins and Brandon, stay tuned for the Drillers postgame show, which is coming up next. <laughs> 